Well, when you do theater, musical theater, straight acting, generally right before a performance, you have to learn how to do warm-ups. It gets your body limbered up and ready to go. Like if you do a musical, for example, the musical director might have you sing some different uh, scares like, ah, 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 and then he might say, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, or whatever, you know, you can sing, you know. These are called warm-up exercises. Straight acting, I remember when I went to college, we had warm-ups, like we used to have to say, butter gutter, butter gutter, butter gutter, a gutter butter, gutter butter, gutter butter, butter gutter, 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 just to get my, your, your vocal cords warmed up. Dancing is different kinds of uh, movements, and I tell you something, sometimes we get more tired from warm-ups than you don't warm up, but I guess it's very important to learn how to do basic warm-ups before a show starts. And there's been a lot, I did tons and tons of shows in my life where I actually had to do tons and tons of oodles and oodles of warm-ups. It just, like I said, relax the body, you know, and you do meditation as well. You know, you think, you're, you're, the director was like, okay, close your eyes and think that you're sitting by a quiet beach and you hear the ocean roar and you actually visualize in your mind that you are sitting on a beach and the ocean is roaring and it has a very gentle sound to it. And the warm-ups are very important in theater. It could be straight theater or, or musical theater. From Deborah Ways Theatre, have a great day.